Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about a very special fragrance. And I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about how it smells, and I'm gonna to talk to you guys about my feelings. And yeah, this is gonna be a very emotional video for me, but let's get into it. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about Amber Chris, the fragrance released by House of Matriarch as a memorial, um, just tribute to Chris Giorgio, Mr. Siage. Now, first things first, I purchased this bottle and this video will not be monetized. I, when he, his first passing was released, it struck us all really hard and I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about but that. I just wanted you guys to know that I don't want you guys to think in any way, any way, shape or form, we're trying to gain followers from this video as we're trying to get money from this video. This video is demonetized. The title of this video, if you didn't notice, in no way mentions his name and in no way in any place of the description or in the text will I mention his name. I'm actually thinking I'm not even going to have tags in this video. I don't really want people to come to this video to look for a review of something. So I might just completely remove tags, leave the description box blank other than just a little blurb about Chris. And this video will absolutely not be monetized. This is, I don't want to benefit in any way, shape or form from this video. And I wanted to kind of make that very clear. It's one of the reasons why I've been kind of silent on the subject and one of the reasons why I just have been kind of reflecting. So first things first, if you were had the privilege of knowing Chris, because it was a privilege to know him, he was a very active member of the fragrance community. He was active on Facebook, he was active on Instagram, and he was very active on YouTube. A lot of us in the fragrance community considered him a friend. So he wasn't just a colleague, he wasn't just a peer, he was a friend. And to some of us, he was a very close friend. Now, I never had the pleasure of meeting Chris, but he was somebody that I was hoping to meet in the near future. There was, I was trying to see if I could get to New York or the Northeast sometime uh, closer to the end of this year, but unfortunately those plans, plans fell through. And he was one of the people I was hoping to be able to meet up with. Now, his passing came all of a sudden, and I'm not going to get into how or why, because that is none of my business. But what I can say is that he touched so many people in this community with just his positivity, his light, his enthusiasm, that it left the community shook. And it's left us a little fractured. There is no replacing Chris. Nobody will be able to replace Chris. He is irreplaceable and I just, I just want you guys to know how deeply and just how deeply his loss left us. I don't know if many of you people know, but I like I live really far away from most reviewers. I live close to some reviewers down here, but I'm very busy and I'm also staying to myself. But I do like to interact with people and talk to people on DMs and like calling and text message. There's a few people I talk to more than most, but I just think that, you know, this community is one of the communities where it just hit hit us hard and the day that he kind of disappeared before we knew what happened there were so many of us who were talking to each other who were where is he is he okay there were messages across different facebook things people saying do we know how we can get in contact with his boss do we know how we can get in contact with this landlord can we send somebody to his house who lives close who can check on him and I had like so many message windows open asking people what was going on, texting people, and I wasn't the only one. There was a lot of us in the community. And so if there was a lot of us in the community, I can't even imagine his family and what they were going through and the amount of stress and anxiety that they went through. And I remember reaching out to Carlos because Carlos had just seen him a few weeks before. And I texted Carlos, I think it was at like, 1 30 in the morning and I texted Carlos and I was talking to a few other people who knew him who were trying to reach out and Carlos called me at like 2 in the morning and he was didn't say hello he I answered the phone and it was just sobs Carlos and I, I I hope Carlos isn't mad about me saying this so if Carlos if you're watching I'm sorry but he was broken and I was I was broken 
and he, you know, we were talking on the phone, we were getting really upset on the phone, it was like two o'clock in the morning, we were talking really, really late into the evening, talking about Chris, you know, trying to figure out what happened, trying to figure out why, kind, trying to come to grips with this. And we knew that, and I knew that he was talking to other people too, and he's just been spending like a good majority of his evening just being upset and, you know, contacting people and letting them know. Uh, we didn't want to, I mean, I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to make any, I made a few posts just, you know, to let the condolences know to their family. But Chris was that person that was everywhere. Um... I want to say like five or six years ago, there was a friend in high school and he was one of the people that was always around. He was one of the people that was constantly, and I mean constantly everywhere, every party, every event, every like music show, everywhere. He was always there. He was always happy. He was always full of energy and he always left a lasting impression. And he died suddenly, suddenly. Um, from a bike accident because he was riding his bike and he was hit by a car and I have you know I wasn't that close with him he was a friend but he wasn't a close friend but he was a friend that I've known for 15 years so he was definitely somebody that I enjoyed talking to and hanging out with and when we saw each other we're like hey what's up you know and for me that was it was it's weird still because when we still hang out with friends and we still go to the areas where he was, we expect to see him. We expect to see his face, we expect to hear his laugh, and we ex expect to hear tales of his antics because his antics were legendary. And that's just not what happened. And his death shook the community where he, where he lived. And that is what happened with Chris. Chris my mother, you know, here's a funny story. My mother likes to watch and read all my comments. She doesn't comment all the time. But when Chris reached 1,000 subscribers, she actually text messaged me. And she's like, Mr. Siaj just reached 1,000 subscribers. You better go congratulate him because he is always on your videos and everyone's videos and he's always so nice and you better be nice to him. And I was like, mom, I've already messaged him congratulating him. She's like, okay, good, because you better. You know, she saw it and I never talked about it. She saw it. People saw it. People who watch the videos, people who, you know, were in Facebook groups, you saw it. And so when he passed, it left a huge hole. And there's one thing about Chris too, aside from him being super positive, aside from him being just a genuine person and having a genuine light about him, he was generous. He was so generous. He sent me bottles, I sent him stuff, but I, it wasn't like I had stuff I wanted to give him, but he had sent me stuff and I know that he did that with so many people. He did that with his friends, he did that with other people in the community, he did it with subscribers, he did it with reviewers. It didn't matter. If he had a bottle of something he thought you'd like, you would get a surprise, you know, if he had your address, you would get a surprise package of decant saying, I would really love you to try this. He just, like, everybody was like, I have this from Chris. I just got this package from Chris. I got this from Chris. When I had my fragrance project, he actually reached out to me and wanted to know if he could do a giveaway with my fragrances. He wanted to purchase one of them. And I was like, whoa, that's really nice. You don't have to. And he just, he's like that with everybody. You know, none of us were special to him. I mean, I'm not saying we weren't special to him, but like we weren't his close friends. We weren't his family. We were part of a community that he was passionate about and a part of and that he loved. So we were internet friends and it left us shattered. And a lot of us are still coming to grips with it. And I said this before and I said this again, if he left that much of an impact on practically complete strangers, I cannot fathom the hole that he left in the hearts and the lives of the people that he considered friends and family. And so that is one of the reasons why I'm not monetizing this or tagging this. And the video is just going to be talking about this fragrance. And I just, I don't want anything to gain from this whatsoever. I don't. If you watch this video and 
you, you know, don't subscribe from the, because of this video, please don't. Um, so what happened is, is one of the things that Chris really wanted was just like to work with perfumers. And so his friend and fellow reviewer, Josh Thibodeau from Scent Sense reached out to some perfumers that Chris was really just super into and loved. And Christy Michelle from House of Matriarch, out of the goodness of her heart, started almost immediately working on a fragrance based on Chris's loves, based on Chris's just, you know, the way he liked to smell, the fragrances he was really passionate about. And they came out with this fragrance, Amber Chris. And so I'm gonna do a review on this fragrance. And with this fragrance, this was, I don't know exactly how it worked, but I do know that no profits being made, all the proceeds are going to Chris's family. So I don't know how many people he reached out to. I don't know. I know that there was a few of us, you know, I think maybe like a dozen or two or three dozen of us. I'm not sure exactly how it worked, but we were reached out to people in the community that were friends and cared about Chris and wanted to know if we wanted to make a dream of his a reality and kind of memorialize him in a fragrance. And so that's what this is. This fragrance is not being sold. It's not being, pre it was pre-sold beforehand. I don't know the, the details of it. And I really just, I don't wanna get into the details because that's not the point of this. But Josh worked with Christy to create something that Chris would love, that really just memorialized him in his favorite notes and his favorite smells from a house he was just really excited and enjoyed. So this is Amber Chris right here. I've worn this once. It's a very warm, resinous scent, very heavy on the tonka. It's really beautiful. It's an absolutely gorgeous scent. And just knowing from what I know about Chris, knowing from what he's sent to me, knowing from the fragrances that he's told me he's liked, I really truly feel that he would have just been crazy over this scent because this smells like something he would love. Now with each one of these bottles that was purchased. I think there was under 50 that were sold. There was just a little Amber Chris in loving memory of Chris Giorgio, Mr. Siage, and a little feather. I've worn this fragrance once. I might wear it twice. This fragrance to me is just a memorial piece, so I will probably not be wearing this too much, even though I wish I could because it's really quite gorgeous. But overall, this is more of just kind of like a reminder of what an amazing person he was and also a way for me to give back to his family and also support something that I know that he would be really proud of and had been like kind of a bucket list thing for him is to have a fragrance made for him. So I know this video was really, really long and I know that this video, again, I know so many of us have been coming out and talking about Chris and talking about what he meant to us. And I think for some people, if you weren't an active member of the community, and you don't have to be a reviewer, I'm not saying reviewer, I'm saying if you weren't an active member of the community in regards to the fragrance community, specifically on Facebook and YouTube, if you weren't a subscriber, or if you weren't a viewer, or if you weren't a reviewer, or things like that, you might think that everybody coming out of the woodwork and talking about him seems like people trying to gain followers and people trying to exploit his memory for gains. And I'm not gonna sit here and say that everybody is correct in what they're saying. I don't know what other people's relationship to Chris was. I don't. So I'm not gonna sit here and say, you know, we're all right, we're all wrong. And if you wanna unfollow me because you don't like this type of video, that's completely fine, I understand. But Chris deserves to be remembered. Chris was one of those people who was so genuine. Chris is one of those people that was so nice and so giving. And it's such a freaking loss. Like it's the loss of him in the community is something that cannot be replaced. He is irreplaceable. I can be replaced in this community easily. <laughs> easily. There's a lot of people in this community that can be replaced. And I'm not ta talking down on myself and I'm not talking down on other people, but there are some people who can be replaced and there are some people that are irreplaceable and Chris was irreplaceable. 
and the effect that he left on this community will not long be forgotten. And hopefully we will take from this the good that he left, the light that he left, the positivity that he left, the enthusiasm that he left, and just take it and just make this community better. I can't think of a better way to honor his memory than to take a community that he loved so much and just do good things and share positivity and happiness and enthusiasm in his honor. And also, I am so happy and honored to be able to have this fragrance in my collection just as a memorial to him. I have another fragrance that he sent me that he sent again because he thought I'd love it and I'm going to be reviewing that sometime next year. I really want to sit and think about that fragrance and review it because it is a substantial fragrance. It is really fantastic. Um, but I just kind of wanted to sit down and talk to you guys because you're going to see a lot of us coming out talking about this fragrance, reviewing this fragrance, and I just want you guys to know how much he meant to us. And again, not just the reviewers. I'm not sitting here saying YouTube reviewers. I'm saying to the community, to the people who he interacted with on Facebook groups, to the people that he talked to on Instagram. He did live videos all the time. He loved talking. He loved sharing. He just was so personable and so happy. And his tragic loss is a tragedy. And I am so happy to have been able to call him a peer and a friend because I did consider Chris a friend. And so this is a loss that will not be long forgotten. And I am so just happy to have had the privilege to have met, met, met him, not in person, but just like in kindred spirits of fragrance. And if you have known Chris, if he was your friend, if he was your family, if he was somebody that you had the honor of knowing in person, I, my condolences, this loss is, it's unbearable for most people who didn't know him. And I can't imagine your, your pain and your emptiness. I hope that any proceeds gone from purchasing this fragrance can help in any way, however you see fit. And I just thank you guys so much to his mother and father and his friends and family for bringing up somebody that was such a genuine light because I think that people really are examples of their upbringing and I can't imagine how amazing his friends and family are. If he was such a positive, amazing person, his whole, his whole atmosphere of people in his life must be truly amazing as well. So in any case, guys, that is the video. I'm sorry it was so long and very talky, um, but just generally overall, I just wanna thank everybody for watching this video. If you watched all the way through, a humongous thank you to Christy Michelle for creating this fragrance in Chris's honor and just putting her heart and soul and spirit into creating something that I know he would absolutely love. And obviously to Josh for really, um, just stepping out and reaching out on his behalf to create something that he would just absolutely be enthused and happy about. I would love you guys to let me know if Chris had touched you guys in any way. Did you have any interactions with him? I mean, I know a lot of people had interactions with you. So if any of you guys had the pleasure of talking with him, let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. Or don't, that's fine, <laughs> you don't have to. If you like videos like this, thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe. Again, this video is not going to be tagged. There's gonna be nothing in the subscription, uh, the description box. You know, no call to arms except tagging or commenting just because I'd like to keep his memory alive and I'd like people to talk about the good that he did out there. So I'd love to know how he touched your life and just generally your memories of Chris. I'm really happy and honored to have this in my collection. It's something I'm going to cherish. And even if this was not created for Chris, this is a beautiful fragrance. And I do wish you guys had the opportunity to smell this, but I am going to be babying the scent. And again, I might wear it just on special occasions or days that I kind of need a little bit of positivity in my life, just to kind of remind myself what a light Chris was. In case guys, Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.